Last night as I laid on my pillow. <laughs> Last night as I laid on my bed. Last night I stuck my feet out the window. Next morning all my neighbors were dead. Jules here it's a brand new day and um, we actually have a long weekend so this is 4th of July weekend not sure when you'll be seeing this video but um, we have someone here helping us get our 50 amp service in and also he really simplified things for us a whole lot as far as what we are doing with the electrical I think we've overcomplicated it quite a bit and this guy is um, really helping us to be able to kind of simplify it for now in order to make things functional. So, see, I'm in the bus and they're over there getting it wired up. That's exciting. I'm hoping and praying that we have air conditioning. We have air conditioning. I mean, we have electric today in this bus. So, uh, anyway, got that. Another air conditioner because it's been so hot. So, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on if you're making it short or not. Yeah. Do y'all make shorts and TikToks? Yeah, we've been doing shorts. Not as much, though. That's the, what, that's so, you got your shorts. shorts. It is hot that out is here short. today. Shorts. Well, this is our friend Michael. How you doing? And uh, I think. We kind of got the right one here. Help us. He's kind of directing us. Very wrong. right way, and he loves God and he loves the Lord. And helping us out here. We sure appreciate it. Already got a leaf on it. So he just wired this in to the box. Just going to power that over there. Fixing to test it and make sure everything's good, but he said everything's good. So, load would be if you had another receptacle right there and this one was feeding it. Oh. Trust me, you didn't hurt nothing. <laughs> you heard nothing can't be fixed. Did it make a noise? I'm just a little backward, probably. Because <laughs> it's got power on it, it's telling me that it's, it's, it's wired, right? Yeah. It's just wired in the wrong spot. Instead of putting it in the feed, you put it in load. So like, well, it's, you got it wired like it's the toaster and not the feed. And I just hold the steering wheel. Yeah. You know, I did all this other. And the microphone. And the microphone. <laughs> Came in the bus to just give you a real quick a look at what we did so what he did was he helped us go ahead and get this functioning and on so we got the main off right now because johnny's under there putting the ground in and actually we don't even need those batteries yet we're running it without the batteries through just the converter i didn't know you could do that there's a lot i didn't know but anyway so we had the now Johnny's got a wire, finished wiring the 12 volt things right here. That's what he's going to do next, I think. And then we had that fan plugged up. Power was running just fine for that. And there was a little issue here. Johnny had it run just a little bit wrong and he helped Johnny get that right. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need another air conditioner. I bought one. It's a little bit more BTUs. Uh, a little bit better one anyway um yeah so i've got to go in here and cook johnny something because he's hungry and uh we'll update in a few minutes hey guys so uh i'll explain to you the electrical for the most part um we had a our friend our newfound friend michael come and he helped us um finish wiring up the electrical got our 50 amp wired up and you might be wondering what johnny's doing right now but he is under the bus, I threw him under the bus 
and he's putting in a ground wire on the chassis. Um, we could have done it to the side up there um, where the box is and all, but he decided to just drill a hole down through the floor. Yeah, and because it's just, it's right here at this, so it's straight shot down. So he just drilled a little hole through the bottom and he is connecting it now to the chassis. So we'll have a good ground. And uh, yeah. All right, so let me take you outside and show you my ground wire. I was going to show you uh, while I was doing it, but just kind of, I got greasy under there too. Oh, why I got so greasy? Uh, well, I guess there's grease under there, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, clean looking as it is up under here. That's what I did. That's where it comes out, and that's where I put it. And I'm going to kind of uh, uh, sanded that with the wire brush good old handy wire brush and I'm gonna paint that paint it sanded this hole too and I but I didn't want to have to find a bolt so I just wound up biting the bullet and I took that bolt out wiring up the 12 volt <laughs> it's been a bugger hasn't it can you that yeah. Up there, just like that, just like that. Yeah, because we'll have a we'll have a little um, thing to put over that. I need one more tin right there. I had some old tin uh, fuses that I found in some. They're old, but they're new. Like, Oh, <laughs> Putting the amp, the, I keep wanting to call them amps, but they're fuses. <laughs> amp fuses. Amp fuses. We're burning midnight oil tonight. Okay, so we're going to need two fifteens. You got Eventually. that one. Eventually. See, that's that one. That needs a fifteen. That was the one we yeah. That's in. the that's the water pump right. and the so heater, we'll leave those unhooked. And is this the diesel heater? Yeah. Okay. One. Of, yeah. One. Of, either, so these are lights. Yeah. This was the diesel heater. Okay. I think. This was lights. Yeah. Lights and uh, lights. Lights. Is that what it is? Yeah, but I had a <laughs> I wanted a fifteen on it because of the wire. That I've, I've yeah. left this out for the fan I'm going to put oh, in there. Oh, okay. So you want to put but a 15 in I could in go it? ahead and hook that up because there's no naked wires. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and put the 15 on that one. Okay. And we'll leave the other one. So when I get tired, I get uptight and out of sight and uh, kind of got up tight and out of sight a little while ago because I was just trying to remember what was one this late and um, uh, turn this power back on and the guy that come helped us with, with it said when I get the DC wired in that I could plug this in and the DC would work without the batteries. So uh, I think the batteries, you need the batteries when you don't have no AC plugged in. That's when it, that's when the battery kicks in and runs the DC. But, but otherwise with, with AC power, this will run the DC. And I'm gonna move this cause this is a bad spot for it. But I'm gonna plug that in. He said when I plug that in, they say it'll work. You'll know it's gonna work. Gotta try it, you know. But he wired it. He wired that one in. He wired it in for me. 
so here's your here's your cord. Did you say to plug it in the back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you ready? No. <laughs> That light back there's on, and this one's on. I think we have lights. DC lights. Okay, so I had a wall up over this delete, and I took it back down because I think I want to put my window unit air condition there. It's gonna, way. Wife wanted me to put it in a window, mm -hmm. but I don't like the idea of that because she wanted to use wood. So I'm thinking this metal on the outside, cut the hole, put the unit mm -hmm. in, and then seal around it on the outside with some trim. Yeah. So um, even though we're going to have a window unit in back, we're still going to need a mini split up front. So because um, putting too many splits is going to be quite a lot, right? Right. Yeah. And this right here is a scripture that my daughter-in-law wrote on there before I closed the wall up. She so moved it. she moved it to the piece of wood here. So that piece I actually rewrote it there too. But look gone. how neat my handwriting is. <laughs> But I couldn't see cutting that out, cutting it off. Hey guys, good morning. It's a new day. And we are working earlier, a little bit earlier today. So the electrician came out yesterday. And then today, we're actually getting ready to make a place for the second air conditioner because Actually, this will probably be the only one we keep in the back. We're putting a mini split up in front, and this will pro this will be not probably this will be a permanent um, air conditioner here in the bedroom. So we're this was a delete, and Johnny is going to cut out instead of doing it in the windows. Like I think we have a we're probably putting a clip up of that but instead of doing the windows he's doing in the delete and so that's what he's getting ready to do we're trying to measure 10 times and cut once right mm -hmm. and then I'm doing simple job right here the insulation I'm cutting insulation and finishing up the couple of panels we have left to insulate so we can close this wall up we had to move I think Johnny may have showed you yesterday we had to move or last night late we had to move the Thus, the outlet from here to down there so we could plug in, have a place to plug in the window unit. So these window units are supposed to be low wattage. They don't use a lot of electricity. So our electrician friend said that it should be fine to plug it into a regular outlet. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully everything goes well. still working on the 12 volt stuff last night before we went to bed uh, Johnny turned on the 12 volt side and on one of the fuse I guess you call them blocks or whatever there's a real little red LED light that come on and there's no fuse there but it is wired in so we talked to our friend Michael and he said to try changing that wire to another fuse another block or whatever space um, and just see if that fixes it. And so that's what Johnny's over there doing now. Can I show the, oh, you don't have it? Okay. I've changed it. Yeah. Okay. Are you, yeah, you're going to plug it in, then turn it all on? Yeah. Plug it in, then turn it back on. I don't like the way it works. But you have it wired in right now? Yeah. 
there's no light on. Huh. It's a bad block, right? I took the wire off. You took it off or did you put it in another one? I put it in another one. I put it in this one. Uh -huh. But the light on this one is not on. That's because it's a bad block then. Must be. You said mark it and don't use it. Okay. I'll make it look better. Uh, yes. Look at that cool air. We still got to seal up on this side. seal the outside and finish the outside. Mm -hmm. And then I got a wall around it. Yep. But uh, right here, I wanted to put a brace so that we would secure it. Going down the road. Never to fall out. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'll make this look better later on. Yeah. Right now, it's going to stay this way until I've got this piece off an old barbecue grill or something back there in the backyard my son left and then uh, this was a bracket that I cut in two that's the other end of it and uh, then I put two holes there and and I drilled these two holes and put them in the legs of this thing because the legs of this thing I couldn't get a bolt under it into this so the legs of this thing are made for those uh, plastic things to slide on the sides, but I'm gonna have it in the wall, so we don't need those. Right, the wall will be like a seal. But you always want to secure it from ever oh. falling on a car or falling out or something. Yes. This is a bus. Yes. That's outside. You probably dropped another. This is her. Pizza bowl in the bus. I cooked it in the house because I haven't figured out how we're going to do pizza bowl yet. But I didn't eat all of it. I'm full. So we are just fixing to um, test the hot water heater. We haven't tested it yet. So we're about to do that. I've sweated and all kinds of stuff today. It's been hot here in Georgia, <laughs> crazy hot. So, um, but we're gonna test. This may be the last one of the last things we do. Um, this probably will be the last thing we do on this video. Um, and then we will work on another video. So anyway, we're gonna test this hot water heater and make sure that it works so I can throw the box away. We got the Bosch four gallon. We started with the seven gallon, but it was way too big. Like it was huge. So, um, yeah, we're going to test it and see since we have electric. Probably need to look and make sure, you know, look for leaks again, but yeah, we'll go ahead and plug it up. You ready to plug it up? Uh, sure. I think so. You just got to turn it on too once you plug it up. You turn that dial. It's plugged up now. Turn that dial to the clockwise. Clockwise. Down. Turn it down. Well, yeah, but. Yeah. To ideal right there. See where it says ideal? There you go. Ideal. <laughs> now that's max. Yeah, but you right might not there. want to turn it to max. Let's just turn it to ideal, maybe. Yeah. Let's see what it does. You match this button here? No. <laughs> that ain't a button. You don't match that button? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Still got to hook something up to that right there, I think. But a lot of people don't, you know. I know. I don't know whether to or not. Well, if you if you ever need to let the pressure off of the thing, that's what it's for. Mm. We'll you see. never did show how I cut this board out for it to fit perfectly. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Johnny's handiwork there. Yeah, that's something I <laughs> something I done okay, I guess, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't show my music notes up there while we wait. See my little hanging music notes I bought. Yeah, I bought these. These were the first thing that I bought for this bus just about sing the music notes from Hobby Lobby. So I bought those music notes 
before the tornadoes came through Griffin, Georgia and destroyed the Hobby Lobby. Um, I was up there in the Hobby Lobby. My hair's a wreck, but I was up there in the Hobby Lobby buying music note hooks. Music note hooks. Music note. And also I bought this. Let me show you. I bought that drainer. Drainer, strainer. Cool, cool, cool. Two legged, toe legged, That was before legged I drainer. even bought a sink. Dra dra drainer. <laughs> it's coming together though, I think. Yeah. Got our two air conditioners mm -hmm. going. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's turn off what? Oh, I thought it went off. <laughs> I started freaking no, it's out. still working, huh? <laughs> Because I was like, oh no, something's tripped. <laughs> Music notes. That would look good there, wouldn't it? He wants to put them on the ceiling. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. Uh, Stick them right back the way you have them. Yeah. I know, I was thinking right there. Kaboom. Yep, that's exactly what kaboom. I was thinking. Yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> kaboom, kaboom. We just ate it. I just already taught, showed y'all what I ate. My food is right there. That was yummy. Last night as I laid on my pillow. <laughs> Last night as I laid on my bed. Last night I stuck my feet out the window. Next morning, all my neighbors were dead. Bring back, bring back. Nah, don't bring back my neighbors to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, that's the cold side. Yep. Probably needed to let it go a little longer. Sting them a little longer. A little bit. It's getting warm yeah, though. It's getting warm though. It's warming up. It's working. Praise the Lord. So I think the hot water heater works. It's getting hot. I can go through the box in the pile. Yes. I have two more days off work to work on this bus. Yes. So, um, we're going to end this video right here, though. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Thank you guys for your comments and your encouragement. We really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done that. We really appreciate it. And um, if you're still breathing. And you still hope. We love you. And you rock and roll. Yes. See you on the next one.